Hello, this is Furry Murray 7 and this video is on how to unlock the CTOS control center in the district, the loop, in the game Watch Dogs. Now, this is actually the only control center that is unlocked automatically as part of the main storyline. Uh, you cannot continue with the main storyline until this is unlocked. And this is unlocked as part of the mission uh, called Backstage Pass. It's in Act 1 and... Um, uh, backstage pass uh, the first part of the mission uh, actually you you go to the loop and you go to a weapon store and then from the weapon store you uh, you have to buy a uh, an assault rifle of some sort and then from there uh, you can continue on to the next part of the mission which is actually the control center fight now there is actually a super 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 easy way to get this to to finish this control center and you don't even have to step Foot into a control stinger, into the control center. You don't have to fight any guards. You don't even you don't have to go in there at all. You can do the whole thing from you can do the whole thing remotely from the security cameras. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. You can get this finish this mission easy as pie. <coughs> so first, hack this nearest control camera, uh, the camera next to you, and then follow my movements on the screen. You can connect to this control. Uh, th not control. Uh, this camera. You're gonna hack this camera on this side of the building. Then you go and hack that camera down there. And then, if you look, you can see that there's a camera right there. Hack that camera, and you'll be at this point. If you look all the way to the right, there'll be that 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 wall with the that, that grout stuff on it. Anyway, <clears throat> this is the camera that you need. This is an important one. Now if you zoom in, you can see a, a tiny bit of a camera sticking out the side of that edge there. This, and uh, it points, actually points to the guard that has the security code. So you can hack this guard right here. Hack him, and you can get the code from him. Once you have the code, all the, you need to do is access that computer. It's on the other side of the room. Now if you look here, there's actually a guard. You can see that there, there was a guard with, that has a camera on him. <coughs> We're going to be using that. So, starting from the outside of the building, after you get after you after you have the code, you hack. Uh, there's actually two ways to do this. I'm going to show you both ways because one of them might not work. Um, uh, follow the movements and go back to that camera you were at before, right over here. Only this time, instead of going to the right, you're going to look all the way to the left. And there's going to be a guard with a ca with a hidden camera attached to him you can hack. But before you hack that, you're going to want to hack the smartphone and use it as a distraction. Immediately after you hack the smartphone, you're going to immediately hack the guy with the security camera. Now you need to pay attention, because the guard is going to walk up and he's going to look at this control panel that you need to hack. Now, sometimes it's going to work, sometimes it isn't. As you can see here, uh, the... the, the, the that security panel I needed to hack was too far away. It was out of range. Uh, there was too many. There was too many cameras in between. Sometimes it might work. Sometimes it might not. You just need to um, uh, uh, try this. Now, there's a second method you can use for hacking this. Uh, if this method doesn't work, I'm going to show you an alternate uh, camera angle you can use <coughs> right now. So. Uh, hack this camera just like before, only this time you're going to go over here and hack that camera right there. Then you're going to go over here, hack this camera, and then you're going to turn all the way over here and hack that camera. Once you're on this camera, then you activate the smartphone from here. Try activating the smartphone from this camera and then hack into that guard's uh, hidden camera. And you should be able to unlock it if you weren't able to do it earlier. And you're in. <laughs> it's all easy peasy from here. Just follow my uh, movements in this video. This this puzzle that you have to solve is really easy. You shouldn't really need my video guide on how to solve this puzzle. It, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just press the button a certain number of times. Um, in order to unlock it. This one, you have to solve the puzzle uh, before the time runs out, but you have, you have plenty of time.
And that's it. Once you're in here, uh, if you look all the way down to the end of the hallway, that's the router you need to hack. But don't hack it just yet, because off to the sides, uh, to the left and right, there are three different uh, videos, uh, video logs, and you re you should watch them. They'll be recorded in your video log, I think. And uh, the other thing is that uh, you won't get a chance to rewatch these ever again. So, uh, <laughs> make sure you watch them, so you can get. get I, th I think I don't remember if you do get credit for watching these for watching all the video logs there is to watch I don't remember if you get credit for that or not but just in case you should watch these because after you after you infiltrate the control center you will not get a chance to be in this room again so make sure you turn to the left turn to the right watch all three of them there's three videos total make sure you watch all three of them before you hack the center uh, CTOS console that's it and then, after you hack it, uh, you will have access to the map. You're in the CTOS already. And uh, after that, the mission the is pretty much over. The only thing you have to do is you have to escape from the search area, which is pretty easy because you're not in any fights with any guards. Just run away from the hideout until uh, run away from the control center until you're outside of that white circle and you're done. And you didn't have to. You didn't have to fight any guards or anything. It's all done remotely via the security cameras. Thank you very much for watching. If this video helped you at all, even if it only helped a little bit, please click the like button. I know that I'm a little bit late with posting this video. It is a, a tiny, a little bit af, a little bit more than a week afterward. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, uh, I know that some of you are already past this point, but just in case you didn't know, this is how to finish that mission easy. And as you can see right here, run out of the, <laughs> out of the range of the control center and it's done. So thank you very much, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you, uh, now from here, you can actually watch my hub video on the loop. If you click that, you can see my loop hub video and, uh, to show you everything you uh, all you can you can use that to jump ahead and you can watch whatever uh, mission whatever collectible or investigation mission you want I have videos on all the collectible missions and all the investigation missions uh, in watchdog so make sure you click that annotation if you watch if you happen to be watching this video on a on a device that does not support annotations it's not going to work for you but, for the rest of you, it should work just fine. So, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you click those little links, and make sure that you please like and subscribe.